Hey everyone, I'm coming to you from the beautiful town of Mount Jackson, Virginia in the wonderful Shenandoah Valley. I'm staying here along Route 11, also known as the Valley Pike. The reason I'm here is we are standing in the spot of the Mount Jackson General Hospital. This was a Confederate hospital commissioned in September of 1861 by the Confederate Medical Department. Why would you want to put a hospital uh, here in the valley in Mount Jackson of all places? It's a small town. Uh, what's the significance here? Well. The Manassas Gap Railroad's western terminus is here in Mount Jackson. So this gives access to the Northern Virginia uh, area, all those battlefields, Manassas, things like that, where they're fighting uh, out even you know, in 1864 in the Overland Campaign, a lot of troops are gonna be coming through here to the hospital area. Across the street is our soldier cemetery, uh, is what it's called. It is a Confederate cemetery. You can see the flags there representing many of the states of soldiers that were buried here. Uh, those soldiers would have died, most of them would have died here in the hospital and been uh, placed in the cemetery across the street. The hospital uh, consisted of three two-story buildings, each about 150 feet long and accommodated 500 patients. Uh, it was ran under the direction of Dr. Andrew Russell Mem. Now it's spelled M-E-E-M. -E -E Some people will say meme. Here in Shenandoah County, it's generally Mem. Uh, Mem is uh, very well qualified to be the chief surgeon here. He's a graduate of P Princeton University. He's also graduated from the Pennsylvania Medical College. So very well qualified to be here. His staff is gonna consist of two assistant surgeons or contract physicians, so they're uh, not necessarily assigned here, but they are under contract to come here and work. He has five stewards, 10 nurses, eight cooks, and five laundresses uh, comprising his staff here. His wife, Ann Jordan Mim, will also assist him here uh, at the hospital. And she will also organize in October of 1861, one, she'll be one of the organizers of the Lady Soldiers Relief and aid association. This provided clothing, food, and supplies uh, to the soldiers. Later, that association in 1866 will actually hold one of the first uh, Confederate Memorial Day services right over here at our soldier cemetery. Now, Mem, uh, again, will treat men from, you know, far away battlefields, Gettysburg, Antietam, Manassas, here in the valley. The, he'll treat men from Winchester's battles, from Port Republic, even the woundings at Roods Hill. Speaking of Roods Hill, the hospital is torn down by the 192nd Ohio Volunteer Militia after the war uh, as they are stationed on Roods Hill three miles south of us. What they're going to do is use that lumber uh, to build a large military installation, uh, which includes a courthouse, guardhouse, gallows, a ballroom, all, all kinds of things. Uh, for the Federals who are occupying that area. Uh, Roots Hill is a prominent hill here in the Shenandoah Valley, especially this part of the valley in Shenandoah County, and uh, overlooks quite a uh, large area, so it's a, it's a good place to have a military installation. Uh, this hospital will be active pretty much the entire war, save for six months in 1862. Now, Mem, will actually fall ill in 1865, in February of 1865, and he will die of his illness in Harrisonburg. Uh, so right near the end of the war, he's done his service trying to save uh, soldiers and unfortunately having to, you know, bury soldiers and things like that. He himself will succumb to an illness and die in 1865. This is a really neat place to stand. Again, our soldier cemetery across there. Uh, there's a few cannons out here along the road. Uh, there's some really neat old signs, a uh, Civil War Trail sign, uh, Virginia Highway marker, and I'll put a picture up of another sign here, but it, it's an old sign that says Confederate Hospital, Mount Jackson, Virginia, uh, and kind of shows the structures. I don't know if I can get a, yeah. That's a really cool, I'll put up a little clearer picture of that in the video, but a really neat place to be. Now, I will say over here in the cemetery, there are a lot that are buried there. You can only see really three three or four gravestones. Um, a lot of those are just buried out there and not marked with, uh, with stones. So definitely uh, an interesting place to come. Uh, if you get a chance, definitely come through Mount Jackson, stop here, look around a little bit, stop up at Roods Hill, stop here in town, get something to eat, uh, and uh, just keep finding history wherever you can.